Okay, okay. So I think the best way to start out is just to offer uh, just kind of a, a definition of powerful questions. So just to frame it, like, what are we talking about here? And uh, I think the best, the best place to start is to just say that a powerful question is going to be an, an open-ended question uh, designed to elicit new insights from the person that you're asking the question to. Um, and it's probably important to mention also that when you're asking a powerful question, it's not necessarily about gathering additional information, right? So it's not like a yes or no question or a question that you're, you know, uh, expecting a specific answer to. So, you know, it's, it's more about inviting people to look um, with their heart and their mind. So it's kind of really deep. Sometimes you even have to like meditate on this question for a while before you're able to even answer it. Um, so that's kind of the, the basic definition, right? So it's, it's an open-ended question. It's not about gathering information necessarily, but it's, it's designed to provoke thought and insight in the person who's receiving the question. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, so uh, in the next part of the powerful question, like in terms of its definition, uh, it has to do with the attitude that the person who's asking the question has when they're asking it. And uh, this is kind of where the, you know, the, the radical shift is going to come in because um, we're, we're coming from a place of curiosity when we're asking these questions. So it's really like we don't know the answer. And a good time to ask a powerful question is like, if you don't actually know what the person is supposed to be doing, like if you have a close relationship, it's probably going to come up at some point that this person is going to come to you and they're going to have a really big problem. They, they don't even know where to start or it's just kind of an overwhelming problem. And I think uh, it's a little annoying when, the, when you tell someone like a big problem and then they just snap with an answer. They're like, oh, you know, you should, you should just, uh, you should do X, Y, and Z. Uh, I think it's also like a little arrogant because this person has probably been stewing on this, uh, you know, on this problem for days or weeks or sometimes even like years. And so if you just snap with, with well, here's what you should do. You're kind of like, you're already, you're, you know, you're, you're basically ending the dialogue right then and there because you're assuming like, I know what this person should do. So we're kind of coming from a place with these powerful questions of I don't actually know what you should be doing and so what we're doing in the conversation is we're we're asking these questions to you know to make the problem more conscious and then out of that solutions and answers can come up um, but it's it's really it's more important that the person comes up with the answers themselves so in this case I'm not I'm not answering I'm not telling you what you should do and uh, so so that's really important I think that's kind of a, a big shift for a lot of people. So learning how to listen and ask these questions can kind of take your, your interactions with people to, to a whole new level. So, um, okay, so we'll go over very quickly. Why, why do we ask powerful questions? We've already talked about this a little bit, but uh, to elicit new insights new, uh, and even creative ideas. So it doesn't have to just be when this person is in trouble, but maybe they, they just have a, a creative block and we can you know, help them overcome it with a powerful question. Um, so along those lines, like opening up new possibilities or uh, looking deeper into issues that we've already thought about, that we've already talked through, powerful question can kind of um, open new areas of inquiry. Um, and kind of what all this centers around is that the questions are uh, evoking the inner wisdom and the creativity that's already within this person. So. You know, if you ask, the right, we've already talked about this, but if you ask the right question, this person can, can start to formulate an answer that's going to work for them in their life and their situation. So, um, and, and then maybe uh, something that's overlooked a little bit, but asking these powerful questions in addition to opening up new possibilities and, and generating new ideas can also help you uh, prune bad ideas or uh, incorrect assumptions. So by just asking an open-ended question, you're allowing the person to carry their logic a little further. And then they might realize, well, actually this, you know, this thing that I thought was a good idea and I hadn't talked it through with anyone. Now I fully understand 
why it will or sometimes why it won't work. So, um, so Melinda, do you want to help us walk through how how do we ask powerful questions? Yes, I do. Awesome. 